Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size, catches feet just like flies. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got radioactive blood. Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes the Spider-Man. Yo, what up? This is your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man Lee, and you're watching Comic Looks. Hope you're ready to get Devon. Hey, hey, hey. Nowadays, I'm too cool for a girlfriend. Nowadays, I don't know when the world spins. Live your life like we die when the world ends. If it's alright every time we fucking break a sin. Alright, what up, guys? So, today's comics look episode is gonna be on the one and only Spider Man. I'm gonna give you guys a quick, basic uh, breakdown of his character and his origins since there's a lot of different Spider Mans in the Spider Verse. Alright, so to put it in simplest terms without putting in any spoilers in case you guys do wanna watch the movie yourself, any Spider Man movie, he's pretty much a high schooler that lives with his grandparents. And it all takes place when he gets bit by a spider. That's when he turns into Spider Man. He gets bit by a spider. In some comics, he gets to shoot webs out of his body. In other ones, he'll shoot it with a web slinger that he makes himself. And but his basic uh, powers that stay with him throughout almost all the comics is going to be that he can stick to stuff like a spider, and that he has super enhanced abilities as a human. So strength all around. So stronger legs, stronger senses, everything. Oh yeah, and he also has a sixth sense. He calls his sixth sense his spider sense. It is when he is, if he's ever in imminent danger, like someone throws like a gosh dang, or someone shoots him like from behind him, his senses will start tingling and he'll be able to dodge it and avoid it and end up avoiding death. Wait right there. See? Anybody else's spider sense tingling? So that's going to cover the quick bio portion. If you guys want to find out more about Spider-Man, check out his upcoming movie that's going to be coming out into the Spider-Verse. So that's going to be it. So I'll see you guys in the workout. Quick caution before we start the workout, though, guys. This workout can be very dangerous, so please make sure you adjust the numbers to sets that are protective to you so you don't get injured. So if you are, if you know, if you're crazy, you know, raise up the reps and stuff. You know, do what you got to do, but don't get hurt, all right? I will not be held responsible. Enjoy the workout. Alright guys, so to start off with the first workout, we're going to be doing moving push-ups. These are pretty much going to be chest push-ups, but we're moving, so check out what I'm doing here. And we're doing three for ten, so we're going to do this three times and ten times each. So, ten times each, I mean like this. So, a one, that's going to count as one, and then one. And then now the next one is going to be two, and then two. And you got to go to ten. This will help to build your chest, biceps, and shoulders all at once. Make sure when you do them, you try to do them a little bit slow and controlled. Tough gets you that slim physique, but you know, tough and toned physique like Spider-Man. All right, now for the second workout, we're gonna have what I like to call climb jumps. These are pretty much gonna be where we're jumping onto something or jumping over something 20 times for three different sets. And doing these, you can range from jumping over anything of like a little table to a gate, or you can even do some box jumps where you're jumping on boxes. This is pretty much is gonna help us to gain those muscles to be able to jump over stuff and climb stuff like Spider-Man does. Because I personally believe that the best way to train for something is to actually do it. So at least we definitely Fly. give you those muscles to leave you capable of doing the things he does. Up, up and away, Web! Shazam! Now onto the third workout, upside down hangs. So for this upside down hang, I had a picture in my mind of, you know, hanging upside down on a spider, uh, spider web, obviously. But I turned it into a swing set or a rope or anything just to build those muscles that he has to do that kind of stuff. So I couldn't do this myself because like resources, obviously. So I'm just going to put a little Photoshop thing I made right here. So that's that's what you want to do right there and make sure that uh, all your muscles are locked in so you don't pull anything if you do them. And I've done it myself, so I really can't give you guys any good insight on it. But if you want to try that out, here's the time I want you to do it. So do it, hold that position for 20 seconds. 
and then repeat it three different times. You don't have to do it for 20 seconds, you can do it for more 20 seconds or less than 20 seconds. And for the lower difficulty workout, we're gonna be having holding push-ups. We're gonna do these in three different sets. And uh, how we're gonna do these is we're gonna pretty much do a regular tricep push-up and we're going to, when we go down, go down slow and then hold it in the holding position. I'm gonna show it. And hold that for a certain amount of seconds, whatever you set your seconds at. I set mine for 20, that was my goal. And then go back up and then repeat five times. But like I said before, set up your numbers for whatever fits you best because if you overwork yourself, you will not be able to finish the full workout. Now for the next and almost final exercise, we're going to have the spider stalk. This is a really dope exercise that I just came up with. I saw some parkour artists doing it and I was like, maybe I could do that for an exercise and now here it is in the Spider-Man uh, workout. I believe this workout really attacks your muscles in a way no other exercise really has that I've brought up. Uh, this workout is pretty much you're gonna go to go in between two walls or pillars whatever it may be and try to use your the strength of your legs and upper body to keep yourself almost like you're sticking to the wall then the lower difficulty workout will be squat holds so pretty much go into the basic squat position and uh, hold that for whatever you may select your seconds to be or maybe even a minute I'll have my time up on the screen right here here just for you to use as a recommendation but now finally we're gonna go on to our last and final workout parkour jog straight exercise yeah that's that's what I'm gonna name it pretty much what I want you guys to do at the end of this workout for the final workout I want you guys to go and just jog straight like take take a break before you do it obviously because it is a workout in itself I want you guys to jog straight till a certain distance usually when I do this at the end of any workout um i usually jog for five kilometers and to track this you know don't don't roast me or nothing i still use it pokemon go is what i use to track my distance i'll get one of those five kilometer eggs and until that egg hatches i will not stop jogging i will jog straight when you guys do this workout yeah you you can take a little bit of breaks if you want to hit my distance and you can't just doing it jogging straight but i really want you guys to set a distance you can legitimately jog straight without stopping and to put this fireman twist on this if there are any objects in your way that you can jump over or jump on or like glide over you know in a parkour or whatever spider-man type of way then go ahead and you know jump over them things put in the extra effort to get the extra gains you know what i'm saying so uh, yeah that's gonna put the uh, spider-man twist i'm gonna put on the workout and that's gonna pretty much be it for the workout portion of the video so if you guys just came here to see that and i'll see you guys later make sure you leave a like and subscribe to come to me out today we upload every friday and next friday um all i can say is that the upload is either going to be a reaction video or you guys are definitely going to get this but it's going to be another comic looks on centered around a certain movie coming out that's all i can really tell you guys but uh yeah i'll see you guys later but if you're gonna stay tuned for the results portion then i assume you've seen the results portion already you know what it's about but if you don't know what it's about it's pretty much where i'll show you guys the numbers that i actually reached and the numbers i set for myself because these are numbers that i set for myself but i don't actually end up reaching them so i do vary them out through the workout and i'll show you guys the intensity of what i went through and my personal thoughts after i did the workout so if you didn't be god's staying for that and i'll see you guys in the results catch you soon All right, yo, what up, guys? You know what time it is. Time for the results portion of the video. So your boy had to take off the hoodie and get to work. I try to leave the mask on. And just, just to state this before we get into it, I was already tired from demonstrating the workouts because when I demonstrate the workouts, I had the mask on. And the mask really can tire someone out very quickly in doing any workout in general. So go, guys, go buy a mask, a face mask, and try to do an exercise in it. And then look how tired you are. But getting back into the uh, results, uh, I tried to do it with the mask on, like I said, and it didn't work out. I was getting way too gassed, so I ended up taking that off. And then this was probably, believe it or not, one of the most easiest workouts in the whole workout. So yeah, it's got to say something, especially since, as you can see now, I am struggling. And if I were to Photoshop a piece of ice cream under me right now, it looked like I was dipping down and licking the ice cream off the ground. Yeah, I was, I was pulling another one of those moments. And uh, yeah, I, I was about to die. But enough of that, I hit my goal on that, uh, what I previously said in the workout, uh, demonstration stuff. 
So I hit my goal on that, and then I went to the climb jumps. The climb jumps also were easy. I think I already said that. I don't know. But this and the uh, moving push-ups were the easiest, too. And uh, so, yeah. But I did not hit my goal, even though I say it's easy. I did not hit my goal because I was fatigued. So although they were easy, like, physically, I could not keep up with it, like, cardio-wise, I guess you could say. I kind of just got tired out, so I set it to 15 instead of 20 times each. Just so I could get that through the start, get that out of the way, so I have some energy to finish off the rest of the workout. And now moving on to the third workout, I did the holding push-ups. I these, <laughs> if I gotta name the worst workout, this was it. It, it literally killed me. Um, I could not pull through at all. I ended up going for my goal, which was five, three, and two, I think, to doing three, two, and two. Yeah, uh, it was way harder than I thought it would be and I, I pretty much just didn't survive. But now for the most iconic Spider-Man workout I had in this workout, it'd be the Spider Stalk. This workout was pretty enjoyable. It pretty much made me feel like I was doing a squat, but also getting some upper body work at the same time. And as you can see, it looks like my dog enjoyed it too, just messing around, just walking under me. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and go on to the next one. And now for the last one, the parkour jog straight or whatever I named it. This one, uh, I, it was pretty basic too, not much recording really needed. I pretty much just jogged straight. I hit my goal, the five kilometers on that Pokemon Go. Best believe I hatched that egg. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's that. And that's pretty much all the results, guys. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you guys made up to this point, you're obviously a demigod. So <laughs> thank you for watching. Make sure you guys don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you made it to this point in the video, hit that subscribe button. And I'll leave you guys off with the basic generic uh, Spider-Man uh, quote. With great power comes great responsibility. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Next Friday might be a reaction video or a comic looks episode. I can't give out who the character is because, you know, it might not be one. But next Friday, if it's not next Friday, it's the Friday after that when you get the comic books episode. So yeah, enough talking. I'll see you guys later. Keep it divine. Hey, hey, hey. Nowadays, I'm too cool for a girlfriend. Nowadays, I don't know when the world spins. Live your life like we die when the world ends. It's alright every time we fucking break it in.